So for maybe Brandon, what's some of your experience with sharing authentically and maybe going well or not going well? I think we're doing it right now. And we said this before we went live, but we don't have like this elaborate game plan and step-by-step you know, formulation for how this conversation with the four of us is going. Like this is the first time we're doing it, right? We have all worked together. Some of, some of us have worked together longer than with others. Like I've worked with Christine now for going on several years and Ben and Andrew, you guys have known each other much longer than I've known each of you. So we, we don't really know how this is going to go. And we don't pretend like we know how this is going to go. We don't pretend to have done this hundreds of times. And authenticity, I believe comes down to the difference between one being your best self versus being your false self, right? Because I've, I've been a, a false self in the past and we can talk about, you know, what that means afterwards. But I like what Christine said when she says, how do other people see you? Right. But recently we, when I say we, me, Christine and Brian Rolo, our other partner in team elevate, we sat down and we asked the question, how do we want to be seen? Right. And in order to do that, we had to ask, okay, well, what are the values that we as a company live by? And we didn't want to be the stuffy corporate trainers who come in in the oversized suits with the briefcases in like the 1960s hotel room, conference room. Like we wanted to be fun. We wanted to be outgoing. We wanted to be warm. We wanted to be authentic. We wanted to be a young energy, right? So we first defined how we want to show up we define who it is we want to be. And then we've intentionally set ourselves up to be seen that way from our ideal client. But at the same time, I'm reading this book right now called Selling from the Heart. And it's by Larry Levine, who is a great guy. Christine, you shake, you're nodding your head because Bill McCormick, right? Mm-hmm. Tonight we're doing the LinkedIn <laughs> workshop and I'll be there. So I'm excited to see you. Awesome. And uh, I'm reading the book and he said, actually, as one of the first exercises, if you went to all of your past clients right now and you ask them what are the three words that you would use to describe me what do you think your clients would tell you right you can even make a list of what you hope they would say but don't just hope go to them and say hey i'm just doing this experiment this study how did you view me when i did this work with you or with your team and see what other people are saying about you and then you can begin to intentionally craft how you want to be seen or your perception so that you're seeing more in that light that you want to be seen as. 